Hello friends, welcome to GT Science Tutorial. In this video, I am going to explain about the symbolic representation of a galvanic cell. You must have seen these notations in electrochemistry. This is how we represent a galvanic cell. By seeing these notations, we can know everything about a galvanic cell. So how do we write these notations for a galvanic cell? In this video, we are going to learn everything about that. So let's start. First of all, we need to understand what galvanic cell actually is. Galvanic cell is a device that is used to convert chemical energy into electrical energy. A very good example of galvanic cell is Daniel's cell. I have already made a video about Daniel's cell. If you don't know about it already, please check the link in the description below. You will find the link of that video over there. Let me explain this little bit. Here, there are two beakers in which uh, two electrodes are kept, right? This is made up of zinc. This is made up of copper. They are in solid. They are metals, right? They are connected by an insulated wire through external circuit. And this is the salt bridge in which some salt like potassium nitrate or potassium chloride, potassium sulfate or ammonium nitrate is kept along with gelatin. This salt bridge allows only the ions to pass through it. The salt will not react with the ions. Okay. So what happens? Uh, see. The tendency of ionization of zinc is more than that of copper. So zinc will convert into Zn2 plus and it will release two electrons. As it is losing the electrons, then obviously oxidation process is happening, right? These electrons will move towards copper through the external circuit and we can detect the flow of electric current over here. And the electron comes and here there was Cu2 plus these electrons combines with Cu and forms copper metal. They get deposited on it. So here copper ion is gaining the electrons. So it is showing reduction phenomenon. Now by seeing the diagram we can uh, we can understand it properly. But how to write it in cell notation? So that if we see that once we can understand what is going on over here, what kind of figure it might have and we can have every knowledge about that. So now let's understand how to write the cell notation for a galvanic cell. There are some steps that we need to follow. Let's see them one by one. The first step is the oxidation, the oxidation half is always written first followed by followed by the reduction half reduction half here we need to understand one more thing oxidation half means a node a nodic part okay and this reduction half means cathodic part cathodic part that i have already explained you at zinc oxidation will happen and this is anodic part that is negative terminal of the battery this electron will behave as the negative terminal of the cell and here reduction is happening so this is the positive terminal as electron is coming towards it so this is the cathodic part or simply you can say that copper will behave as the positive terminal of the battery so what do we do uh, the first step is the oxidation half or the anodic part is always written first and there is a way to write it as well that is in two number for for oxidation half for oxidation half what do we do there is a way to write see metal or the solid is written first then we give a vertical line, then we write the electrolyte, electrolyte that may be either in ionic form or in the whole compound form. So let's write for that, for that what we can write, first of all we write the metal, Zn, zinc in solid, then we give a vertical line like this and it get converted into Zn2 plus zinc ion, okay. This is in aqueous form and its concentration is 1 m right so this is the oxidation half 
for this Daniel Seal reaction. Sometime if we are considering the electrode to be gaseous, then what do we do? We write like this. Let me give an example. Platinum H2 gas at one atmospheric pressure gets converted to H plus. This is in aqueous form 0.1 mole. This is another oxidation half example. Look at here. Here there is platinum hydrogen. This comma represents that this is a single phase. Okay. Comma represents single phase. Let me write over here. Comma represents single phase. Single phase. Okay. So platinum is kept over here and hydrogen just gets adsorbed on platinum so that it can go under oxidation process. This is in gaseous form whose pressure is one atmosphere. Then it gets converted to H plus that is aqueous and its strength is 0.1 M. So this is how we write for oxidation half or simply you can say anodic part. Okay, always anode is written first. Now the third one is for reduction. For reduction half, for reduction half, we write the electrolyte first, then we write the metal first. Okay. First of all, we write the electrolyte. Electrolyte, we give a vertical line, then we write the metal, metal or the solid. Okay. So in this case, what do we see? This is the reduction half, and the electrolyte is Cu2 plus. So it is written as Cu2 plus and this is in aqueous phase and its concentration is 1 m. We give a vertical line and it is converting into solid that is solid Cu, solid copper. It is in solid form. So this is the reduction half for this Daniel cell. Now for the second case, what can we do? Like for reduction half, there might be Cl minus aqueous form 0.1 m. This will convert to Cl2 gas at one atmosphere pressure platinum. So this is the reduction half for this one. This is for, oh sorry, for this one. This is for SHE, okay. This is an example of SHE about which I'll explain in my upcoming videos. Now, let's understand the fourth rule. So in the fourth rule, we just combine these two. The overall, the overall redox reaction, the overall redox reaction or the whole process is represented by oxidation half, oxidation half and we give a big vertical line and then reduction half, reduction half or simply you could say that anode and cathode, right? Now let's write this for oxidation half. This was this is uh, the oxidation half of the Daniel cell. So let's write it Jane and as flash or sorry vertical line Z and two plus equals at one m big vertical line which get converted to sorry of in reduction half we need to write Cu two plus in equals form one m concentration get changed to Cu2 plus that is given in sorry Cu that is given in solid form that is given in solid form. So in the fourth step we just write the oxidation half and reduction half together separating by a big vertical line. Now the fifth step is very important as well. Let me erase this and write the fifth step over here. The fifth step says that when salt bridge is, is used, then we separate we separate the anode that is oxidation half and cathode that is the reduction half by two vertical lines by two vertical lines so if 
salt bridge is used in the cell like denial cell then what do we do that salt bridge is represented by two vertical lines so for this process the actual cell notation is z and s z and 2 plus equals 1 m double line double vertical line this represents the use of salt bridge the presence of salt bridge so it will be like this a q 1 m c u s let me write it over here again it will be easier to understand it okay so this is how we represent Daniel cell in cell notation this is how we can do we can represent any type of galvanic cell in cell notation so remember the steps first of all we write the oxidation half then we write the reduction half then we just write them together if there is salt bridge then we give double vertical line if there is no salt bridge we give a single vertical line but that should be little bigger one now there is a one special case let's see what is that sometimes the anode of one cell can behave as the cathode of another cell depending upon the condition so we have to be very much careful over there similarly sometimes the electrodes are kept in same electrolyte an example of that is like see platinum h2 gas at one atmosphere pressure this is kept in hcl solution hcl solution this is aqueous and its concentration is 0.1 m and this is the same electrolyte for another sorry reduction half as well that is cl2 gas one atmosphere pressure platinum so what do we see over here if same electrolyte everything cell same they are given in aqueous form their strength is same temperature pressure every single thing is same then we represent it like this we write the electrolyte to be the common for both of them here h plus of this electrolyte comes here and cl minus come this way in the reduction half so this is how we represent the galvanic cell by a cell notation i hope you understood how we can write the cell rotation for different galvanic cells so in this video we understood how we can write the cell notation for different galvanic cells by understanding the daniel cell i hope you understood everything about this video if you like the video please share this video as much as you can and thank you for watching the video